I know you made a, a big effort to challenge this team in the non-conference this season and to come away two and one against the ACC, Big 12, Pac-12 foes to start the year really has to say something about this team. For sure. And looking at the stats, I mean, the stats aren't even that great outside of, you know, some production that Emily Straub did from, from a point standpoint. And we had a lot of people contribute, so don't get me wrong on that. I'm not saying that we had players play terrible, but not – we didn't play the way that we were capable of. And to come away from that tournament 2-1, and one, I was really pleased. I mean, Virginia could have easily beat us. Oregon State could have easily beat us. Um, and then we just kind of fell flat on our face against a very good Iowa State team. So very pleased with the two and one. Um, also very pleased that we were able to see what we needed to work on when it was all said and done. Made some adjustments after the first day with our lineup and uh, got a better result on Saturday. So now we just have to see if this week with, with a full week of practice, if that uh, if those changes still look good when, when it comes to the weekend. You said no one really had to like carry the team, even though the stats may look that way. I think that you have to be pleased with how the Leah Mulkeys <clears throat> played and the Warren Tins played and Nio played in the middle and, and even Aubrey Saltmeyer in her first weekend of Division One volleyball. It, it looked like this team had played together for as long as maybe they hinted at before the season. Yeah, I mean, some of the players that – you, we had some question marks about when the lights came on and uh, played well and did what we needed to do. And, you know, we still have some detail work that we've got to get worked out to make us better as a team. But, um, you know, there were a lot of different points where different people stepped up and, and made a big kill or a big dig or uh, had a big serve at the end of a set. We ran out of subs a couple of times and had somebody who wasn't even a – Six rotation player go back and uh, Caitlin Warrington served one set out, and, you know, made an ace at the end, and the same with I think Leah Mulkey, and so it's kind of interesting to see that when we were put into um, some stressful situations at the end of sets, we still had people step up and, and make plays. We talk about Caroline all the time, but for her to achieve a an individual you know, milestone, she did a thousand kills on her career. Now she's we have to keep up this pace if she wants to break the, the all-time record for digs. Uh, but for her to, to, to reach that, what does that mean for her? She's just grown so much in, in the four years and, and just such a pleasure to coach. I mean, just she is the consummate teammate and encourager. She uh, works as hard as anybody that I've ever had. She's worked really hard off the court as well. She's a, a, basically a 4.0 student. You know, she's involved with community service. She wants to be a leader. I mean, just you can go down the list of what what's a, a, a great student athlete, and she checks off every single box. So just really proud for her uh, with how she's come along in her four years. And um, she's definitely one of those players that I'll be able to talk about forever to say how hard work pays off. And, you know, she followed up getting that thousandth dig with getting 28 digs against Oregon State. She had 21 after two sets. They just stopped hitting the ball at her or she would have had 40. So uh, just a, a, a great young lady, great player. And keeping up with the theme of uh, challenging this team in the non-conference, coming home for a tournament uh, where you face Sanford, who's going to be in the running for the SOCON. You see Ohio State, who's added pieces, and they're a Big Ten team. You know that they're going to be good. You can face hometown team in Little Rock, and then you uh, round it out with an in-state rival in Southern Miss. So the competition's going to be there. What are we going to see from this team? Uh, it's four teams coming in with a combined record of 11-1. and one. So everybody had a, a nice weekend. You throw us in there, and it's 13-2 and two between five teams. That's a pretty good first weekend. So um, every, every match is, is going to be competitive. It'll be a fun weekend, uh, not only to coach – volleyball but to watch volleyball watch these teams play against each other as much as it's going to be you know our fans coming and, and watching us play so uh, yes we, we expect every single one of these teams to be in the hunt in their conference and uh, we expect this to be a, hopefully a great RPI weekend for us as the season goes on we're glad to be home you know and to have a program like Ohio State in our tournament is uh, is really nice I, It'll be the best 
uh, most historic program that we've had in, in one of our tournaments. So that I think that kind of shows a little bit of the path where we've gone as a program that we have somebody like that that wants to come down here to play us. So should be a really fun weekend.